What's up, Keymakers? Today we're going to talk about a book that came out in 2015, My Current Book Obsession, Dot Com Secrets. My name is Bradley G. Smith, and you're a Keymaker if you're subscribed to this channel. So, before we get started, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell, so you can be notified of future videos. So let's get started. Guys, this book came out in 2015, Dotcom Secrets. Uh, it was written by none other than Russell Brunson. If you haven't heard of it or uh, you're not familiar with it, um, you're probably either new to online marketing or you saw it as just another book that came out um, that is in the marketing space. Well, guys, this is not just another book. This is the book that you should start everything for. Uh, drop everything, go back, read this book, familiarize yourself with the internals of this book. I'm going to hit a couple of key things related to this book and a couple of key things related to Russell Brunson. Mainly going to cover Russell Brunson because um, understanding the author and uh, sort of having an introduction, if you're not already familiar with Russell, is uh, important uh, because he's one of those successful entrepreneurs that um, has, has made a name for himself and has created multiple uh, six-figure businesses um, and he's been online for quite some time. So um, I've got, I'm, I thought I would start out by reading the foreword of, of the uh, Dot Com Secrets book and um, I would also talk about the mentors that he's had and I'm, I was planning on going through the four sections of this book on a high level 30,000 foot overview but um, and then go through each one of the secrets and just kind of hit them at the high level uh, but I hope you I hope you stay tuned because the the information that I have in here is powerful right and and I want to share it with you I want to get it out there and uh, if you haven't already gotten this book, I recommend uh, highly getting this book. But um, stay tuned till the end because I really want you to hear what I have to say at the end. Um, I'm going to go over this book and I want to tell you exactly how I'm going to go through this book. And we're, we're going to go through it together, but I'll tell you how I'm going to do that. So I thought I'd start out. I've got uh, Russell Brunson's website pulled up and I just wanted to mention a couple of high level pieces of this, right? He has created ClickFunnels on their website. They talk about, on Russell Brunson's website, they talk about how um, ClickFunnels, if you haven't heard of it, it's a funnel building software. Um, on their website, they talk about how it has generated $100 million in revenue and has 55,000 customers. And I think that might be slightly dated information. So it probably has generated more revenue by this point and has more customers. That was after three years, and I think they hit the three-year mark in roughly April or May. So, um, also, he has created 206 millionaires off of that one product, ClickFunnels. But don't, if you haven't already gotten ClickFunnels or you don't already have a funnel building software, don't rush out and get one. You gotta understand this book before you do. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna be lost or um, get frustrated with the process but he gets into the science and the art of marketing through funnels and the things that you have to understand to do it correctly. So if, if you saw uh, this taking shape like I did, I saw this probably in 2005 starting to take shape with a lot of uh, direct response marketers online who were doing what seemed like the same thing but I couldn't put words to it. Um, he spells it all out. He just spills everything in this book. And uh, that's why you need to get this book. So that's ClickFunnels. But um, I had a couple more things that I wanted to point out. Um, he has been involved in selling lots of different products online. The, the website, again, says that he sold shakes, supplements, coaching, books, consulting, coupons, t-shirts, technology services, and software. And he's probably got a larger list than that, guys. That's probably just the high-level pieces that they wanted to mention. Plus, he also has, right on their website, they show the books that he has out. They've got this book right here, Dotcom Secrets. They have Expert Secrets, 
They have a book called 108 Proven Split Test Winners, and they have the Funnel Hackers Cookbook. I've also seen, I'm part of his email, his email list, I've also seen that he's recently come out, the, the website's not even updated yet, with a book called Marketing Secrets, and he's come out with another book called Software Secrets. So uh, I'm sure those will be added here to the website soon, but also um, he does a podcast. It's called the Marketing Secrets Podcast, and he does another, uh, he sort of has a YouTube channel called Funnel Hacker TV. This guy is like involved in the online marketing world. He has had success, he's sharing his success, and this is the starting point. Like if you, if you saw this book come out, and you thought, okay, I'll get it real quick, I'll take a look at it, maybe it's sitting on your coffee table and you haven't read it, go back, read it, memorize it. I'm holding this book really nicely so you can see that it looks nice on the front, but look guys, this is what my book looks like because I keep going through the book, referencing the material, and um, I was, uh, when, I, when I got the book, uh, there was an option to purchase the audio version of the book where Russell reads the book himself it's that was one of the best choices I could have made because I can listen to it anywhere. I don't have to sit down and read the book and have the headspace. I can go exercise and listen to the book and start memorizing, memorizing the techniques. And I would recommend that you possibly do the same. Um, also, he's got one other thing that I wanted to mention. If you want to get consulting from Russell, it um, starts at $10,000. If you want him to do speaking engagements, it talks at two. It, it starts at two hundred thousand dollars, or uh, fifty percent of backroom sales. So whatever he sells by the end of it, whichever is higher. So it's either two hundred thousand dollars minimum, or it goes up past there if he sells more than that. And then if you want Russell, if you want Russell to build a funnel for you, he he he'll build it for you, no problem. But he charges two hundred fifty thousand dollars and ten percent of the lifetime sales, because he's so confident and he knows what to do to tweak it to get it correct. So, I'm telling you, uh, this guy is incredible. Also, he will train your team for two days in Boise, Idaho, starting at two hundred thousand um, dollars. And and I've I've heard he does more than that. He will. Uh, if you follow him, he'll get into it, but I won't, he, and he actually gets into how he does the training in the book with your team. But I wanted to say all that to say, if you can't get the personal consulting from Russell, this, it, you know, the one-on-one the -on -one consulting, this is your second best option, right? In the book even, he talks about this book is like having a personal one-on-one -on -one $25,000 consultation with him. So. Russell's amazing. I can't say enough about Russell, but um, I also wanted to briefly highlight the uh, foreword, and um, the foreword was written by Dan Kennedy. <coughs> Pardon me. And um, I also wanted to mention the marketing mentors that Russell has gleaned a lot of information from. So I'm going to mention those here. They're in the book. Mark Joyner, Dan Kennedy, Bill Glazer, Dick uh, Deegan Smith, Tony Robbins, Don LaPree, John uh, Alanis, Andre Chaperone, Ben Settle, Steve Gray, Ryan Deese, uh, Perry Belcher, Armin Moore, Jason F uh, Fledlian, Ted Thomas, Mike Filsame, David Frey, Chet Holmes, Jeff Walker, John Reese, and Robbie Summers. So if, you're, if you've been involved in any online marketing in any way, then you're probably familiar with some of those names. And if I, if I, if I mispronounce any of those names, forgive me. But uh, also, that's the list of people who he has been mentored by and has gotten tips and marketing techniques from. And uh, it wasn't mentioned in here uh, in the acknowledgments, but I know for sure in the book he even talked about uh, some of his time with Robert Kiyosaki. So uh, that is one of his mentors as well. Also, Dan Kennedy has done the foreword of the book. He's done an amazing job, I guess. Uh, from listening to the audio version of the book and reading the book, uh, I picked up that he traveled for six years with Dan Kennedy uh, and learned sort of uh, direct response marketing through Dan Kennedy. And Russell was the internet marketing uh, extension of direct response marketing. So he picked up a lot from Dan Kennedy. And I wanted to read a little snippet here from Dan Kennedy in the foreword. 
So I'll just go ahead and do that, guys, and then we'll get into the four sections of the book, and I'll hit high level some of the secrets and some of the funnels, and uh, then we'll go from there. So, uh, so here's the foreword. So it is in business. I sit now as infrequently as possible in meetings with young online marketing people, demonstrably devoid of any disciplined thinking. They are full of opinion and youthful hubris, but very short on facts. I would not I would not want to share a foxhole with them or depend on them. I would risk it with Russell. This book offers solid ground in the very ethereal world of online marketing and commerce. It properly treats internet media as media, not as a business. It utilizes the science of split testing. It builds on long proven marketing funnel and sales architecture. It takes a very disciplined approach. It is, in one way only, a fraudulent book. The title is deceptive. It really is not about dot-com secrets, <coughs> pardon me, nor is it a playbook for growing your company online. It is that, but such a narrowed and limiting characterization is deceptive. In truth, this is a solid book about reliable marketing secrets that can be applied to dot-com business activities. and and that are secrets to many who've come of age only paying attention to what they see occurring online. In truth, this is a proven playbook for growing your company with effective lead generation and sales slash conversion methods, which can be used online and offline. Powerful. So he's basically saying the fact that it's named .com secrets uh, is just basically limiting the, the scope of the book. It's actually more than that. It's for your business, whether you're an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, affiliate marketer, small business owner, medium business owner, and even a big, large corporation. This book teaches the secrets that you need to know, the quote unquote secrets that you need to know to set up funnels properly in your business. So that's the forward. Uh, the last piece that Dan Kennedy says in, uh, in the foreword, go into this book in search of deep understanding and prof profound clarity about the structure and science of effective marketing to be applied in the online media universe. So he sets up the stage for the book. So it's really good. And then Russell gets into the intro and he talks about his background and how he got into uh, online marketing and specific, more specifically direct response marketing. But um, I, wanna, I wanted to hit the uh, four sections of the book, and then I wanted to hit a couple of the secrets, quote unquote, <coughs> and uh, get into sort of each one of them. But uh, again, stay with me to the end because I've got some very important stuff that I want to go through. So section one, ladders and funnels. So let me hit the sections real quick. Ladders and funnels is section one. Section two is your communication slash follow up with the funnel. And then section three is funnelology, leading your customers to the sale over and over again. And then section four is funnels and scripts. And at the very end, he has a section five where he talks about click funnels. And that's the software that uh, his company has put together and has generated, according to the website, $100 million in revenue. And at this time, it's probably much more. So, Number one, secret number one, the secret formula. So in, in secret number one, he talks about the secret formula. These are my, so this, these are my interpretations of his secrets. I would call these uh, key takeaways. So sort of falls in line with key makers, you know, key makers and key maker nation. These are the key takeaways from the dot-com secrets book. And I'm giving a couple of the key takeaways. Secret number one, the secret formula. He gets into the secret formula. He talks about uh, who are you marketing to? Where do they hang out online? What bait are you going to use to get them out of the places they hang out online? And then what's the expected result? So who's your client and what's the expected result? And not only who is your client and what's the expected result, but he gets into more specifically, who is your dream client? Who is the ideal customer that you have? Who are they? Where are they? What bait are, you know, who are they, where are they online, what bait are you going to use to get them into your funnels, and then what result are you offering them? So that's secret number one. And then secret number two, he talks about the value ladder. And the value ladder is, is sort of a graph, and on one axis of the graph you have value, and on the other axis of the graph you have price, right? So just like a ladder or a set of stairs, 
you would have at the very bottom of the ladder, you would have uh, your lowest value and lowest price offer. And then uh, up a step or up a rung or two, then you would have something that's uh, a little bit greater value than the bottom of your funnel, uh, than the bottom of your value ladder, and a little bit more price. And then at the very top of the ladder, you would have something that is higher priced and um, also gives them the most value. And this would probably, uh, in some way, equate to uh, more of your personal time. That it doesn't have to, but it could. Um, and then, so I'm going to skip secrets three and four and um, talk about secret number three is from a ladder to a funnel. Secret number four is how to find your dream customers. Remember in secret number one, I talked about the dream customers. Who are they, where are they, what bait are you gonna use, and what result are you gonna give them? Secret number five talks about the three types of traffic. And the three types of traffic is important for you if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to build a list. He, he in the book, talks about the importance of list building and why as a marketer, you need to have a list. And the, the reason is very simple. Secret number five, the three types of traffic, is because the list is traffic that you own. <coughs> Pardon me. The email list is traffic that you own. So there are three types of traffic. Traffic that you own, traffic that you control, and traffic that you don't control. And uh, traffic that you control would be some sort of uh, paid search or a uh, way that you funnel users into if ultimately your list. Traffic that you don't control would be something like uh, you got a referral from someone or uh, someone talked about you online and social media and then the customer came directly to your website or they followed a link to a specific landing page on your blog, something like that. But the, the point is you try, you, you try to figure out how you can take the traffic that you control and turn it into traffic that you own because that will get you uh, customers for life that will come back over and over again. And as long as you're providing value, they will continue buying from you. So uh, then section two, your communication and follow-up funnel. Uh, se secret number six, he talks about the attractive character, right? So, and he talks about the importance of the attractive character and how having an attractive character whether it's you or someone in your business that can uh, be sort of the face of the organization or the face of a particular product that you're uh, or offer that you're uh, giving to your potential customers is extremely important. And uh, just the fact that someone can associate a face with your brand uh, is important for the long haul, right? And the attractive character could be you, but maybe you're not uh, someone who wants to always be on camera. Maybe uh, you're not, uh, maybe you're introverted. Maybe you just want to be behind the scenes and pull the strings. But if you're the only person, say you're a solopreneur or just starting out as an entrepreneur, sometimes you need to take on the persona of an attractive character. And he gives multiple ways that you could do that without having to be the expert all the time. So being the expert is one of what the ways that you can have an attractive character, but there are multiple other ways that you can do that. So he talks about the attractive character and then secret number seven and eight go together. Specifically, once you have an email list, <coughs> your goal is to build an email list, but once you get them into the email list, you need to have some sort of follow-up sequence with them, right? So the daily soap opera sequence is the introduction to your attractive character in email form, right? So your goal is to open and close loops in the uh, soap opera sequence. I won't get into the details, but he tells you exactly how to do it. There's a very specific way to do it, but your goal is to get them to open the next email and uh, you set that up by opening a loop. So, and, and then there's a very specific length or rough, uh, roughly a specific length that you should follow. And then after the, the soap opera sequence, you start doing the daily Seinfeld se sequence. And um, that this literally is an email that comes from you uh, every day, potentially, um, potentially uh, multiple times a day, depending on uh, the, you know, sort of the situation that's happening, or maybe a couple of times a week. But, uh, could be once every day. But more importantly, it's not just the fact that it's every day. It's the fact that you're sharing with your, your clients and it's not about selling your product. It's not, the goal is not to sell, sell your product. The goal is to tell 
them, and I'm not going to get into details, but the goal is to tell them uh, so, so about some part of your day and tie it back to your product or offer that you're selling. So um, I'll let you dig up the details a little bit uh, more when you get the book yourself. And if you already have the book, just go back and reference it. So, um, and then there, then there's section three, funnel hacking. I'll skip that for now, but it's uh, very important when you're doing competitive research to do funnel hacking. Secret number 10, the seven phases of a funnel. I'm not getting, gonna get into every phase of the funnel, but I will say this. I know every single one of them, now, every single phase of the funnel, and I understand it. Uh, and one thing that I wish I sort of understood uh, at, when I first started reading the book and uh, started doing some online marketing here even recently after I got my hands on the book uh, is the idea, and, and I'm kind of highlighting it here because I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. There is, a necess there is a necessary step in the funnel, a necessary phase in the funnel where you have to identify the temperature of your traffic. You have to determine is uh, the traffic that's coming into my offer, are they cold, warm, or hot? And he tells you exactly what, the, what that equates to. A cold traffic is this, a warm traffic is this, and a hot traffic is this. But you have to frame them correctly. Depending on, depending on where they're coming in from, you have to frame them exactly correctly so that when they come to your offer, they know uh, you've warmed them up the correct way. And um, the cold traffic, in short, the cold traffic would have the longest sort of step to the offer, and the hot traffic could be as simple as sending an email to the offer, and the person would be uh, sort of ready and prepped to go when they hit your offer page so that they know exactly what it is you're offering. So that's the seven phases of the funnel. There are 23 building blocks of a funnel, and uh, these 23 building blocks are, are crucial to uh, certain sections of the seven phases of the funnel. So uh, he gets into detail, he gives you them. The book literally has all of them listed. You can reference them at any point. So then uh, he talks about the difference between a $10,000 company and a $10 million company, right? Uh, or I think he says more specifically a $10,000 site versus a $10 million company. And he talks about the difference between front end versus back end funnels. That's secret number 12. Secret number 11 was the 23 building blocks. Secret number 10 was the seven phases of a funnel. Secret number 13, <coughs> pardon me. Secret number 13, he talks about the best bait. I'm not gonna get into what the best bait is, but he talks about a very particular case study where they, uh, a particular um, organization was doing a study and seeing if, if a particular uh, bait had any effect on uh, potential clients, right? And so he talked about it and what ended up happening is uh, th this very specific bait in, uh, brings three times more people into your offer or funnel than would have been there previously, right? So if you, if, um, yeah, I, I can't give away too much. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give away too much, but um, there is a very specific bait that you should generally think about using in your funnels when you're building them, and uh, that's secret number 13. Okay, so that's section three. Section four is funnels and scripts. <clears throat> he talks about uh, the, the seven the seven funnels are two step free plus shipping self liquidating offer continuity perfect webinar invisible funnel webinar product launch and high ticket three step application so each one of these funnels is incredible in its own I'll mention two of them that I think are probably the most value in a very short amount of time self liquidating offer this is the kind of offer that you would build that would cover all of your ad costs. Sometimes when people do uh, different offers, their goal is to get somebody into their, into their uh, funnel and into their, um, and basically into their different offers. And, uh, but they'll spend a lot of money up front via ads and then they will uh, hope to recoup the money on the back end in some of their bigger ticket items. And they'll, they'll do those sales later down the road. Like, uh, days, weeks, months later down the road where they try to make, uh, uh, where they try to recoup the ad costs that they've spent. Well, the self-liquidating offer, the self-liquidating offer is meant to fix that problem, right? 
So you put an offer out there, you spend money to get people in, you try to, uh, you spend money to get traffic that you can control to turn it into traffic that you own. But in the process of the offer that day, like within five to 10 minutes of them going through your funnel, you recoup all your costs because at some point they have subscribed to your list. They have maybe purchased a, a, uh, bottom of the value ladder product. And then, uh, they have maybe also purchased a middle of the value ladder product or, or, uh, another bottom of the value ladder product. So the point of that is not everybody's going to buy, but some people will buy <coughs> if the offer is structured correctly. And, uh, those people that buy will cover your ad cost. And then at that point, once your ad costs are covered, it's basically like you you are not spending all the money up front. Your ad costs are covered. You can then scale at that point once you have a winning ad copy. That's a uh, ad and uh, offer, self liquidating offer. So that's it for funnel number two, and I think that's sort of self explanatory. I hope I did my best to explain it there. And then um, funnel number four, he talks about the perfect webinar. He's got tons of material on this online, and uh, it's something that you should definitely research if you're anywhere from a solopreneur all the way up to a multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar corporation, right? The perfect webinar is very important for uh, getting people into the middle of your value ladder. He talks about if you're just starting out and you're trying to figure out how do I, how do I scale this as quickly as possible, do a webinar that has a correct uh, bait and result for a, your dream clients and um, get, get people into the webinar, get them purchasing your product and uh, do that all the way until you uh, have earned a million, at least a million dollars. And then by the time you've earned a million dollars at that point, you probably can go back and um, start refreshing your ad copy around the bottom of your value ladder offers. So uh, very good advice. I found that that advice about uh, doing perfect webinar first in the middle of your value ladder in one of his marketing secrets podcasts. And uh, man, that was advice out of nowhere. You won't find it in this book, but perfect webinar. Uh, there's, there's a, there's a, a nugget of gold for you. So then section five, he talks about click funnels. I'm not going to get into that. I'll probably save that for a different video. I am a customer of click funnels, uh, good product, but, uh, we don't have time for that today. But guys, if you haven't gone back and completely absorbed and mind melded with the different secrets in this book, then stop what you're doing, step out of the, the flow of marketing, whatever you're doing right now, step out of it because it'll still be there when, it, when you come back, read this book, understand it deeply, and then come back, to, come back to marketing and apply what you've learned because this will change your business, change your life. Now, I wanted to get into what I wanted to say at the end of this video, right? So I've kind of given you my best, uh, my, my best pitch at why you need this book. This book is free. Uh, he does free plus shipping. You pay $7 in shipping. Um, I paid for the audio version of the book. Do what you want there. But I thought that was a, a smart move for me because I can listen to it anywhere on the go uh, as long as uh, you know I'm in between locations. So besides that though, I wanted to say, I, if you found the information here helpful, I more uh, wanted to uh, talk to you guys about a Facebook, a private Facebook group that I've started recently. It's called Keymaker Nation. I've just recently gotten back into online marketing here in mid 2018. Me and my wife just had our third child and uh, that sort of uh, spurred me on to sort of uh, figure out online marketing in a way that I didn't understand it before when I was involved uh, in it deeply. Now, um, so it's my side hustle. I have a, a full-time job. It's um, I'm a software engineer, but um, Keymaker Nation, I wanted to do a walkthrough of this book and do list building. So if, you, if you're sort of new to affiliate marketing or if you were um, trying to figure out in your business how to build uh, a list and you're sort of has some, some like 
not so great success and you're trying to figure out how do I build a list and how do I also build up the autoresponder sequence, the follow-up sequence, and how do I do daily follow-up emails, I'm gonna go through that. I've already had some success. I've already started applying what I learned in this book and with the software. Uh, and I've already had some success online of taking traffic that I control, turning it into traffic that I own. And I wanted to share that success with you, And but I wanted to do basically a case study with you. So it doesn't matter when you're coming in and watching this YouTube video, if you find it uh, in 2018, uh, roughly we're in August 2018, or if you find it years later, Keymaker Nation is gonna have a case study walkthrough of applying the dot-com secrets and you can figure out how to, you know, I'm going to give you full access to everything that I've built, everything that I'm doing and how I'm driving traffic to not even my offers, but to other offers and building a list online so that uh, I can follow up later and market to them. But um, I've had some success. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to share that with you key makers. And please join me on uh, Keymaker Nation Facebook private group and we will get into that. And hopefully by that point, I will have my cheat sheet of dot-com secrets and that will be available for free when you join. So uh, we're just gonna share affiliate marketing secrets and entrepreneur and business secrets in Keymaker Nation. So uh, Keymakers, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed everything that I shared with you in this book. I was riffing on it and um, I've, I feel like I've absorbed a lot of it and I hope that that came through and you've gotten a lot out of this video. So thanks for your time and I will see you guys in the next video.